And good morning, Mid-Missouri. It's about 7.15 when we are recording this, and this is how much rain we've roughly seen across Mid-Missouri. Our six-hour rain total showing as much as an inch and a half near places like California, a little less than that in Jefferson City, but overall, this is where some of that heavier rain has been, up to maybe an inch, uh, an inch and uh, three quarters, potentially close to that and near Sedalia. So really, that's where that heaviest axis of rain has been here today, and our potential rainfall by the time it's all said and done could show more than two inches for some folks and it's all because of this low level jet that we have rushing into mid Missouri. This is just above our heads at the low levels of the atmosphere crashing up against the boundary and that's where against that boundary that's where we're seeing some of those heavier rain totals because not only are we seeing the biggest drops there but we're seeing these storms move kind of north northwest to southeast along that boundary as it pushes south and rain rate shows that here as we speak. This is live again about 715 when we are recording this and and those rain rates of potentially more than four inches are pushing south out of mid-Missouri. Uh, but we do have uh, flash flood warnings in effect for folks near Camden, Miller, and Pulaski counties. But that heavy rain is pushing out. But we still have more rain on the way. And that's part of why this rain is so heavy this morning and why we've got that flood risk. Back to the north, it's more steady rainfall. The risk for rain uh, flooding from this rain is, is lower. Uh, we're, we're focusing in the yellow areas for the potential for some flash flooding. And, of course, this shows this threat should start to diminish as we head over the next several hours is that heaviest rain again where we're seeing our flash flood warning right now is pushing to the south and again that's where we have a, our current warning that may change as we head throughout the morning so keep an eye on that keep an eye on the forecast future track showing this rain pushing out of here and we're still looking at lingering showers well into the afternoon and cloud cover that will keep temperatures today in the low 70s low to mid 70s for a few folks maybe to the north where we've got a shot at some sunshine most of us are going to stay over Overcast today, but that chance for some sun is in there this afternoon for folks to the north, and we even have a slight chance for some showers well into the evening hours. But most of us dry by about four o'clock to seven o'clock, and this moisture is pushing south again with that rain, and that will leave us dry on days like Wednesday, uh, Thursday. We're drying out, and into Friday we'll start dry. But we're watching for Friday evening a chance for some storms as a low pressure kind of swings into the Midwest here uh, from the Great Lakes, and it will eventually retreat back towards the north in the east, but a boundary will linger behind it, and that keeps rain chances in the forecast Sunday and maybe even into Monday. So that's our next chance for rain. Otherwise, we're looking at a couple of pleasant days in the 80s with some dry weather.